Matt Damon at the Toronto International Film Festival in September. An interview he did with ABC News this month about the meta movement and Harvey Weinstein drew sharp criticism. Chris Pizzella and Vision, via Associated Press The actor Matt Damon waded into the national conversation about UAL assault in an interview with ABC News on Thursday, observing that men are being lumped into one big bucket, when in reality there is a spectrum of behavior, you know, there's a difference between, you know, patting someone on the butt and rape or child molestation. Right, he told Peter Travers of ABC. Both of those behaviors need to be confronted and eradicated without question, but they shouldn't be conflated, right? Those comments were met with anger and frustration, where many women, including the actress Alyssa Milano, rejected attempts to categorize various forms of UAL misconduct, they all hurt, Ms. Milano wrote on Twitter on Friday. And, they are all connected to a patriarchy intertwined with normalized, accepted, even welcomed, misogyny. Other critiques soon followed, with some women speaking up in Mr. Damon's defense. But the tenor of the conversation was the same frustration, anger and exasperation. That groundswell of testimony that has empowered women to speak publicly about UAL harassment and abuse is posing challenges about how best to have a national conversation about a subject that previously lingered in the shadows. The Meta movement has exposed that we don't have a shared, why developed, robust way of talking about everyday violence, especially UAL violence in the lives of women. Lee Gilmore, a visiting professor in women's and gender studies at Wellesley, College in Wellesley, Mass., and author of Tainted Witness Why We Doubt What Women Say About Their Lives, said in a phone interview on Sunday. We just don't have a ready vocabulary for it, Mr. Damon said the meta movement had been eye-opening for him. I think one of the surprising things for me has been the extent to which my female friends, as I think, of all the ones I've talked to in the last year since all this stuff started happening, I can't think of any of them who don't have a story at some point in their life, he said in the interview. And most of them have more than one, he's not alone in that sentiment. The volume of revelations about UAL harassment and assault has been overwhelming at times. It's the same world, but the coordinates feel really different, Ms. Gilmore said. In this moment, everything feels upside down. In the wide-ranging 16-minute interview, Mr. Damon discussed Harvey Weinstein, nobody who made s for him new, confidential settlements, the day of the confidentiality agreements is over, and raising four daughters in the era of Metu, you just have to raise children with, like, self-esteem, because you're not going to be there to make all of their decisions for them, but it was his comment about the current culture of outrage and injury, that inflamed passions. None of us came here perfect, he said. What's the point of us being here other than to improve? Ms. Milano responded, we are in a culture of outrage, because the magnitude of rage is, in fact, overtly outrageous. And it is righteous, Minnie Driver, who once dated Mr. Damon and starred with him in the 1997 film, Good Will Hunting, also expressed disbelief on Twitter. God God, seriously? HTTPS T.com's for LDXL, Minnie Driver at Driver Mini. December 15, 2017 In an interview with The Guardian on Saturday, Ms. Driver said men simply cannot understand what abuse is like on a daily level, I honestly think that until we get on the same page, you can't tell a woman about their abuse, she said. A man cannot do that. No one can. It is so individual and so personal, it's galling when a powerful man steps up and starts dictating the terms, whether he intends it or not.